Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to Plots with a Twist, where we discuss books amongst other things. And today we got a book review, yes. so uh, we did get a request to go ahead and highly request it. <laughs> <laughs> to go ahead and deep dive Black Book, so that's what we're doing today. So let's get into it. Okay, so Black Book by Mateo Ascuru Report. <laughs> Yeah, how so <laughs> how did you even happen upon that book? It was on So it was on a Goodreads list and I believe it's a debut novel from the author. It is. Um I, think. I looked up his like after reading the book, I had to look up his background, like what does this guy do and whatever. But I think he's just like a twenty nine year old writer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know for real. But yeah, so it was on a um a book a book list on Goodreads for anticipated books of this year and I I feel like I rarely read um fictional books by um especially like black men I, it's very like it's how many have you read on your list like just in general i feel like i read a lot of books about women in general so um by black men yeah you might I, be on to something i've only read, I've read a couple in the in the last year yeah because i read the time of, i started yeah, the and I, that's Hussie the Coast. only one i can think of within the last year or so and yeah. i probably read the james ball one but i don't think even think that was last year i think that was a year before last oh okay i guess oh we know see? well it's see? it's women's history month yeah exactly. <laughs> well, but yeah so that's what made me and then the i'm not gonna lie the cover was um colorful so i was like okay let me see what this is <laughs> talking about right. you're a sucker for covers too so don't I do that <laughs> well just to i'm gonna stop rolling my ass because i don't right. want to <laughs> give my thought make it seem like that's my only thoughts about the book I'm, we're gonna talk about it but okay so what's the book about are you doing a summary me you can do this summary if you can be unbiased i can <laughs> i can i definitely can so black book it mm -hmm. is about a young man named darren mm -hmm. he lives at home with his mom she works all the time and pretty much he wants to, he aspires to one day take care of her but really isn't doing anything to fulfill that um dream he's working at starbucks he has a girlfriend um he's uh his best friend works the corner um he lives in bed -Stuy, new york the corner. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. and so um yeah his life is pretty much set he's okay he wants he's more very complacent right but, but... he's compl very complacent so um one day he goes into work and this guy uh comes in that comes in all the time orders the same thing um he's kind of like the uh well darren's like the maestro of starbucks so he knows what to do when to do it who who like he has everyone's order memorized and so he knew this about this guy and he was like i'm gonna try something and so pretty much he um convinces the guy to change his starbucks order mm -hmm. and in that interaction um the guy Rhett recognizes you know some sales tactics that just darren was naturally able to produce and offers him an opportunity um to fast track it darren does end up going ahead and connecting with Rhett, and there ensues this introduction to this company um that Rhett started that is pretty much a sales position so he goes through like this kind of hazing of training and um really has some outs with the main trainer but ultimately earns a spot and doesn't find much success in the beginning but then becomes like the golden child eventually mm -hmm. of the company um so as his career goes on he does eventually get pulled and drawn into that world deeper and deeper um he's drawn into some scandal he's drawn into just Really, that becomes his whole life, and he sees uh, ends up seeing success really quickly. But it ends up alienating um, all his friends and family that he's grown up with. So, um, yeah, really, that's really what the story ends up being about. Just his trials and tribulations throughout the book. It does kind of teach you moments. It has some teachable moments about sales and sales tactics, and um, yeah. So the name of the book comes from the fact that he's black working at this. I think it was an all white um, sales place and he worked at Starbucks. So they started calling him Buck. And so that ended up becoming his alter um, identity. And yeah, that that is the person that, you know, people stop liking. But somehow, some way down the line, he does begin to turn it around. 
and really tries uh, to utilize his influence to infiltrate um, just the sales industry and promoting and helping other people of color. So that is it in a nutshell. Was that a biased? Yeah, that's a good review. I mean, good uh, synopsis. Okay. So what were your thoughts on the book? What you like? Okay. So or likes. Likes. I liked, okay, so as mentioned before in previous videos, um, I listened to the book, so I think Kristen did too. So I really liked the narration. The um, I feel like the book, the writing kind of plays out like a movie. And I heard, didn't you say it's supposed to be made into a movie or a show I read or that on a Goodreads oh, okay. uh, review, so okay. I didn't actually confirm that information. So sorry gotcha. if that's incorrect. Gotcha. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it very much reads the way that um, uh, Buck... Darren uh, narrates the book it very much reads like a movie and you can kind of see like the different scenes in your head and how he comes out of each moment and says hey pay attention to this part because this right here whatever like how he narrates it I like that I don't know what that's called what's that breaking of the fourth wall. okay yeah so I don't know but like that's what's that. called in movies I don't know if it's called yeah so they book. he does that a lot um and throughout the book um I did I liked I will say during the first like half of the book, I like the progression of the characters and seeing like where the story went. And after the first half, it kind of, mm. but I will say like the first like 50% of the book, it was, um, you could see the progression of the characters and the story and the plot. Um, it seemed to be on pace to me. Um, what else? Yeah, for me, it was really just all about the narration. And I just love the, um, whoever, the guy who narrated the book, he just did an amazing. Name. Me too, I and I forgot. It. Yeah. Um, and he did an amazing job at voicing all the characters. Like, you know, sometimes you read a book and, like, they kind of, like, they try to differentiate between characters, but it sounds like the same person. He literally sounded like different people in each, um, thing. So, I don't know if that's, like, in the book or more so the narration. Yeah. Whatever. But I really enjoyed it. I feel like if I had read it, I probably wouldn't have liked the book as much. But if I, you know, listening to it, it gave a different, um, it gave a different feel to the book. So, okay, that's what I enjoyed for the most part. What did you okay, like? so Anything? yeah, <laughs> I said in our previous uh, rap video that I did <laughs> enjoy the same thing about mm -hmm. how it was narrated, who mm -hmm. was narrated. Uh, narrating. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've heard other books that he has been involved in, so mm -hmm. I figured. Um, the voice sounded familiar to me, so I was like, "Oh, look at him!" Yeah, I love um, his name too. <clears throat> I can't remember. I think he was in this close to okay. I can't remember his name though. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, so I too enjoyed the narration and kind of how it draws you in. Um, I also spoke about how I enjoyed that kind of moments of uh, breaking of the fourth wall or talking to, directly to you as a reader, because mm -hmm. um, some of the things that it was calling out were really pivotal moments or really good little lessons so mm -hmm. it wasn't like they weren't factual um and they weren't done without a you could argue whether they were done without a purpose but i think if it as it related to what was being communicated i feel like those moments were uh purposeful um other than that i did enjoy the beginning of the book i thought it had a really promising beginning i was really intrigued by um just the whole setup and just uh, I want to say thinking uh, or made to believe the story was going to go a certain way because you are made to believe the story is going to go a certain way and then we'll talk about the ending in a moment but um, yeah just had a really promising beginning really intriguing really drew you in you really did want to invest in the character um, yes you have moments where or really he does become someone an unlikable character mm -hmm. um and that's intentional, but um, yeah, I think overall, you really did want to see his journey mm -hmm. and, and really you where he would have ended up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I liked. Okay. The writing was good too. I think the writing, I thought the writing was itself good. was good. I would read something else by him just yeah. to see, just because his writing style was great. I just think it's more the story that probably threw people off and mm -hmm. the, the events in the story. Which we'll talk about in a second. So what you not like? Okay, so, hmm. You gotta think I about it. Like, oh gosh, I didn't like, so I know there was a purpose in having, what was the attack, the other character's name? Um, Chad, Ch Ch Chet or something Chad, like that. Something. He was just so aggravating. Okay, before I even get into that, I did not like how Darren felt so 
connected and just so eager to not disappoint Red. Because to me, it was like, you don't really know this guy from a can of paint. What is your connection? Mm -hmm. Like, why do you feel so compelled to um, not let him down and just whatever? Like, it just gave very much. And I kind of chalked it up to um, him, I guess, being young. Because in the story, he's only about, what, 22? Yeah. So, um, like, fresh out of high, well, not fresh out of high school, but <laughs> um, he's 22 and he's young. So, it's like, kind of like, okay, you can kind of give him a little leeway there, but... At the same time, the relationship they had, I don't feel like it was like thoroughly fleshed out in the yeah. story for it to be like, okay, why does he feel so connected to this guy and want to like just like please him so much? Like I, I just didn't understand that. Didn't like that. Um, and then him being so like being a black man growing up in a, a predominantly black community and then going into this environment with um the with white people who seemingly don't really um care about him as a person and then just um having all these like what do you call it microaggressions at work and then some stuff that's not a micro that's just as blatant i just felt like i'm not gonna say realistically because everybody's different but um there were a lot of moments where i was like uh-uh get out of there like it's not it's not worth it at this point like you're just trying like what point are you trying to prove so to yeah. me i just i don't know it just didn't seem like it was the character, like, it didn't seem, in the story, it didn't seem like it was thought out enough for the reader to understand why he wanted to do these things. Um, what else didn't I like? I didn't like, the story towards the end kind of took a turn and, like, kind of was all over the place as far as, like, different events without spoiling anything, but just, um him creating this foundation and want to do certain things and then it gets into like kidnapping and <laughs> arson and all types of stuff and it's just kind of like where's this going <laughs> right where is this going where is this coming from like it started off as like i don't and that's why i was like okay i can see it being a movie because some of it was just like too far-fetched but also it was just kind of like it didn't that the progression at the end of the story did not match the the beginning i will yeah. say that so um what else didn't i like so I think once Kristen starts talking, because I know she has a long list of stuff she didn't like, uh, I'll probably think of some more things. But yeah, those are like the biggest things. Like I just didn't understand. I feel like his relationship to Rhett had a lot to do like with like just the downhill turn of the story. And I also didn't like the ending. I didn't really care for the ending. Um, it was a, a little bit disappointing. Um, without giving too much away, I just wanted more. I think. Um, there were a lot of moments where I thought that, you know, as Kristen mentioned before, he um, becomes an unlikable character. And there were plenty of opportunities um, before the end or before um, close to the end where he could have turned it around where he didn't. And it was just like, why? Like, why are you still doing this? And why are you still um, uh, dealing with this company that, you know, was no good? So, yeah, I just didn't like that because I just felt like it just didn't in a book. The progression like of a character you know is important especially when you come to an end and they have like a come to jesus moment so to speak you kind of want to see like what it takes for them to get there and i feel like there were so many missed opportunities in the book yeah it took too long to yeah mm -hmm. okay so, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> i just thought i was gonna say reason one i did not <laughs> like this book so overall because of how the story progressed because of the just drastic events of of the story it became a a totally unlikable book for me like it wasn't just he was an unlikable character that had some trials and tribulations and he turned it around and but it was none of that for me it was just super super duper off-putting by the time you got to the end and you felt i felt i wasted my time mm -hmm. so okay so i will tell you why so yes you had uh, I'm not gonna say like the best character development in the beginning because ultimately when it came to like the breakdown because he initially even getting the opportunity that he got initially had immediate breakdowns of some relationships like with his best friend for instance and it's kind of like what happened it seemed like it's just like his best friend was mad that he got a job but it seemed like it should have been more mm -hmm. to it based off of how they were interacting like it just 
certain things didn't make sense didn't match up to in regards to what you were presented as the reader so even as some of the other like you said with the relationship that develops between him and his uh boss um or the owner whoever the guy is to him <laughs> Rex. um even that is kind of like and if you paid attention to the timeline in the book it's like three months later mm -hmm. and they on the phone i love you man yeah it's weird <laughs> And the and as far as the remainder of the story, from what I could tell, that all the events happen within a year, two years. Mm -hmm. Like it's Very a really yeah. quick progression of all these major life altering events. So it's just like the pacing and just the development of everything just really didn't come together for me as a reader. So it just really kind of disrupted what I started to like in the beginning and realized, okay. This is something that's consistent um, and it's turned into a dislike. Um, other than that, like you said, the racism, I think there's, okay, so the book is technically a satire and there's something to kind of calling out situations so you can kind of laugh about it and spark a conversation or whatever. I didn't get that from this book at all. Like, it just felt like some of the things that were presented to you were just presented to you for the sake of shock and awe mm -hmm. instead of it being for a, a purpose. I think satire should serve a purpose to make fun, like if you're making fun of something to say, ha, huh, look at the mirror. Mm -hmm. Like it didn't feel like none of that. It was just like overt, overt racism that he was going through. Mm -hmm. um, and most of these situations, I I mean, like you said, you, it's hard to say what people would put up with, but I would be hard pressed to find someone who would go through everything he went through mm -hmm. and not have had those moments where he snapped yeah. like i would have gave it to somebody mm -hmm. i would have gave it to somebody at some point and i get it like it's like oh maybe you're calling out how you have to repress yourself no mm -hmm. no no i would have been on the phone with somebody's hr department or something some something. organization it was just too and just extreme yeah and even yeah. like with the relationships how people turned their backs on him eventually like some of the people who he um without spoiling it but some of the people he was aiming to please mm -hmm. ends up turning their backs on him as he was trying to redeem himself with the other people that he kind of burnt bridges with and it's kind of like what why why are you not being under like it just stuff didn't make sense mm -hmm. stuff didn't make sense is what i'm getting at it just didn't make sense it just didn't make sense if you actually think about what you were presented as a reader it didn't make sense mm -hmm. um other than that it was just really cringy I, I would say it's just really, I was cringing as I was listening. And there were several moments throughout that I just wanted to stop it. Because I was like, ew. But then I was like <laughs> thinking it was going to serve a purpose. Mm -hmm. And then get to the end. And it's like, mm -hmm. can I delete this off my phone? Like, I returned it. i glad I did not buy it or anything. I got it from Libby. Because I would have been asking somebody for a refund. Because mm -hmm. the way it ended was just. Yeah, that was... what was the purpose? Like, I just don't understand the purpose of the book. I really don't. I really don't. It seemed like, oh, this underdog story or, okay, this person who goes through something that um, they have to find themselves and discover themselves and the road to that is tough and they're going to lose their self for a bit, but they're going to come back. Or like even this success story, like, I don't, it was none of that. Like... So if you haven't read it, I don't even want to say read it, but <laughs> I would say read it just to see if you're feeling that with the ending. Because I don't know, like I said, for me, that just really kind of just took it from, mm -hmm. okay, and then, uh, and then plummet. <laughs> so um, as far as the scandalous moments throughout I they weren't really plausible to me. Um, so for instance, um, not to try to spoil it, but this is an example. Uh, so eventually, uh, Buck does try to redeem himself by helping out his peers and fellow community members and people of color. And a group rises to a uh, power that's combating that. And they say, this is anti-racist or this is racist against like it was weird and this is stuff that they was claiming was on national news and then this woman was at this thing talking about just some of the stuff it was just like this is not plausible mm -hmm. 
Well, I feel like with that, he, um, because stuff like that has happened, if you think about it, like, during the Trump era, but it wasn't as, like, overt and, like, as, so maybe it was a play on that since it's supposed to be a satire, so it's more, like, you know, in your face. I, I think so, too. Like, it wasn't really, like, realistic, but at the same time, like, just trying to make sense of it, it was kind of like, stuff like that does happen. I'm trying to give him credit. Not, no, but stuff like that <laughs> does happen. And, like, even though we're like, oh, a group like this, there are groups like that that exist. It is, but this was, like, but, people were supporting it. And yeah, I mean, people it was, support stuff like that. It's just not, we just don't see it. And it does, like you I said, guess it wouldn't you be on have national news. I guess you do So maybe, like, it being a satire is supposed to be, like, okay, like, this is what, you know, trying to make it, like, more whatever. I guess now you say that that could be satirical, <laughs> but yeah. it still was off putting. Mm -hmm. no, I, um, I agree, it was off putting. But overall, yeah, I just think I I I think it's just it was just a book that's gonna give you like shock and awe here, make you angry, do all these things to you emotionally a little bit, but it doesn't have a real purpose for doing those things, and that's just what I felt. I felt like empty calories like mm -hmm. what was the point so that's just my dislikes <laughs> okay, so, all right so, so which what did you rate the book i gave it three stars because I, I like i said i like the writing and the um the narration and i would read something by the author again but yeah the story wasn't like um hmm. so three yeah i gave it three stars what did you give it one <laughs> <laughs> i would have given it one star but I didn't. <laughs> I gave it two. Okay. Because there were aspects of it I enjoyed. So I didn't want to deny that. I wanted to be fair. Um, and I didn't stop. I mean, I feel like if it really was just gag worthy, horrible, I would have just stopped. Mm -hmm. Um but like I said, I don't know if that was like you or rather like you said, I don't know if that was because of the narration being drawn mm -hmm. into the story. So I don't know. But I gave it a two just because I just didn't enjoy the overall feeling it left me with at the end. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, I just felt like I wasted time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All fair. right. So would you recommend it? Not she gonna real. recommend to everybody. No, I haven't. Like it's not one of those books that um No, I mean I would recommend this to a specific type of person that doesn't like how do I say this? <laughs> that doesn't really read and need who's like a, a surface level. Yeah, I was gonna say a neat substance. That's what yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. That's what I would say. I, yeah, I think uh, I think a specific audience could find the book enjoyable. I think uh and and when I say specific, I think that specific audience is still a large audience. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's it's a semi popular book, uh, but I don't know if I would. Only we reason I would recommend it is to see if people feel the same way I feel mm -hmm. about it. Other yeah. than that, it wouldn't be something that. I think if I think of the book, I'll be mad. Like, mm -hmm. it would be something I would want to think about to recommend. Unless someone's like, I'm looking for something like this. Mm -hmm. Then I could say, okay, you could try that. But yeah, I'd probably badmouth it with my recommendation. <laughs> so, hey, there. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let us know your thoughts. Yes. Because Did you guys read it? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Like, I think, yeah, I think it was a good... I think it's a good conversation starter for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a polarizing book. I've seen pretty much um, mostly negative reviews. I don't know. Have I seen positive? What have you seen? I've, I've, seen, seen, really positive, I've seen positive reviews. So but I've seen maybe like, it is polarizing. I think um, a lot of reviews said the same thing. Like it kind of fell short of what they thought it would. Like. Yeah. So. so let us know your thoughts if you have read it. Mm -hmm. um, like this video. Subscribe. Ring the bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye.